Welcome to the Today in History channel, in today's video we will talk about the day. February 20th, 1947, Lord Mountbatten, India's last viceroy. Prince Louis de Battenberg was born in 1900 at Windsor Castle. Great-grandson of Queen Victoria I of the United Kingdom, he was a direct descendant of the British and German royal families. His father, who when he became a British citizen changed his surname to Mountbatten, became first Lord of the Admiralty in 1912. After joining Osborne's Royal Naval College as a cadet at the age of 17, Mountbatten participated in World War I on two cruises. When the feud ended, he continued his career in the Royal Navy and, in 1920, embarked with his cousin, the Prince of Wales, for a trip through Australia, India, and the Middle East. In 1922, he met the aristocrat Edwina Ashley, whom he would marry at Westminster. In 1924, as a father, he settled in Portsmouth, where he undertook to reform the British Navy's means of transmission. In 1932 he became captain and became chief instructor at the Royal Navy Broadcast School in Portsmouth. From 1931 to 1932, he was in charge of transmissions to the Mediterranean fleet. During World War II, Lord Mountbatten was in charge of the 5th Destroyer Squadron in the North Sea. In 1941, he took up the defense of Crete, besieged by German parachutists. In 1942, he was appointed head of combined operations, as vice admiral, and joined the Allied High Command for the liberation of continental Europe. Mountbatten conceived and formed elite units made up of soldiers from all three armies. Under his leadership, the Royal Marines and Commandos multiplied operations against German troops in France and Norway. In 1943, he was appointed Admiral and Commander of the Allied Troops of Southeast Asia, where he managed to recover Burma for British domination in 1944 and to liberate Malaysia from Japanese occupation in 1945. Due to his excellent diplomatic and strategic qualities, Lord Louis Mountbatten was appointed Viceroy of India in February 1947, with the difficult task of solving the Indian problem. In his post of Governor-General of India, he managed to accept the division of the country into two new independent states, India and Pakistan, negotiating with the Maharajas for a partial resignation of their sovereignties in favor of the two new nations, left the country in June 1948. With India's independence, the United Kingdom lost the crown jewel of its vast colonial empire. In 1955, he became the head of the naval staff and from 1959 to 1965, successively occupied the highest responsibility posts related to the defense of the United Kingdom as chief of the defense staff. Retired from the armed forces, Lord Louis Mountbatten took over as governor of the Isle of Wight and, in 1979, died murdered on board his yacht in Northern Ireland in an attack by IRA terrorists. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article, give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting and sharing with your friends, hugs. Until the next.